KCNet will support a wired network connection, a wireless network connection, as well as a serial connection. This tutorial will go over connecting the court reporter's real-time computer to receiving client computers using a serial connection. The KCNet client viewer accepts serial input from any court reporter capable of sending real-time to viewers such as CaseView 2, LiveNote, Summation, and others. It uses the same serial cables, splitters, and adapters traditionally used for real-time court reporting. Stenograph's crossover serial cable and real-time send-receive adapters are used to connect the court reporter's real-time computer with the CaseViewNet receiving systems. If multiple computers are receiving real-time data via serial cable, a multi-lane block is used. If your computer does not have a serial port, a USB to serial adapter may be used to create a serial port. If you are using a USB to serial adapter to create a serial port, verify the device driver for the adapter is installed on your computer. When the device driver is successfully installed, use Windows Device Manager to verify the serial COM port assigned for the USB port to which the USB adapter is connected. The court reporter will typically have his or her computer set up prior to the start of proceedings. The court reporter should have the blue case view adapter connected to a serial port or a USB serial adapter on his or her computer. A serial cable or multi-line block will be connected to the other end of the blue adapter. If there is only one client computer connecting to the court reporter's computer, it is a direct connection. A red KCU adapter is used on the other end of the serial cable. Connect the red adapter to a serial port or a USB serial adapter on your computer. If there are multiple client computers connecting to a court reporter's computer, a multi-line block will need to be used. One end of the serial cable is connected to the multi-line block, and the other end of the cable is connected to a gold case view adapter. Connect the gold adapter to a serial port or a USB serial adapter on your computer. The red and gold adapters are interchangeable. Start CaseUNet. Verify that you have enabled CaseUNet's connection wizard by going into CaseUNet's system options. On the menu bar, click Options, and then System Options. Under Connections, the Use Connection Wizard option should be set to Yes. To change it, click on that field and then on the drop-down arrow at the right to select the setting. Click OK to exit. On the KCUNet toolbar, click the Connect icon to start the Connection Wizard. The Connection Wizard welcome screen displays. Click Next. The Creating a Connection screen displays. Select Direct, Serial, and click Next. The Setting up the Options screen displays. Click Next to accept the default option settings. A list of available serial ports displays. Select the COM port that will receive the real-time data. This should be the same COM port number that was reported in the Windows Device Manager. In the Baud Rate field, verify the setting is 2400. Click Next. The Completing the Connection screen displays. Click Finish. The KCUNet connection status screen displays. KCUNet begins receiving data immediately when the real-time session begins. If you establish a connection to the real-time feed after the session begins, you receive data from the point of the connection. Any information that occurred before you connected will not display. To receive the entire file, request a network connection from the court reporter.